In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create Bootstrap Collops in Vue.js. Let me show you first how Bootstrap Collops works. So when you click on this button, so this element expands slowly. And when you click on the button again, this element shrinks and finally disappears. When you click on this button, the element actually goes through three different stages. These stages are triggered by class values and height property. So let's go to inspect. Let's try to find out this element here. Okay, so this is the one. So when it's hidden, that's the initial stage or first stage, our class value is collapse. Okay, and let's find the height property. Okay. So height, <coughs> height property is set to auto. So that's the first stage. Now when you click on this button, it goes through second stage and third stage. The second stage is shown only for a fraction of a second. So let's click on these. Can you see collapsing? That is why it's hard to see the values of the class name and height property. But let me tell you, in the second stage, the class value is collapsing and height is set to the height of the element. Okay. <clears throat> now in the final stage, the class name is collapse and show and height property is set to now. So here is a summary of stages. First stage, second stage and third stage. Okay, in the first stage, our class value is collapse and height property is set to null or auto. Okay, in the second stage, class name value is collapsing. And if it is transitioned from hidden to shown, okay, that is this one, then height property will be set to zero first and then it will be set to computed height. That means it will be set to the actual height of the element. Okay, but if you go to the other way, that means from shown to hidden, okay, in that case, our height property will be set to computed height first, and then it will be set to zero. In the last stage, class name value is collapse and show, and height property will be set to null. When we show the element, it goes from left to right, this direction. <coughs> And when you hide the element, it goes back in opposite direction. That means right to left. That means third stage, then second stage, and then finally the first stage. I'll show you how to create these stages to implement these call-ups in Vue.js. So this is our basic HTML file. I've added one script, which is Vue.js. I'll say that bootstrap.css here. I don't need bootstrap.js because bootstrap collapse will be implemented using view.js. So this is the button element here. If you click on these, this element either will be shown or hidden. Okay. I need to add the interactivity here. And here I initialized our view app ID. So it's given here. All right, let's add the data part. Let's add collapse flag. And let's put the initial value false. And let's add the be on click event here. Click on it, cross flag will be toggled. Here I go. Now let's add a directive here. V collapsible. And our binding value is collapse flag. Now this collapsible, we need to implement that. Okay, so I already have the code. Let's Add the code here in the script tag. Okay. 
So this is the view directive collapsible. Okay, and in the element, I added the v collapsible and the binding value is collapse flag. <coughs> so in these directives, let me go. Let me tell you what I'm doing here. So in the directive, I already have I have only one hook. So update function. Okay, so it takes two parameters el that is the element. Th this would be the element. This div. Okay, and the binding. So here I'm using the binding old value and binding new current value, new value. Okay, so if the values match, then I'm going to return. But if there's a mismatch, that means the value is true and the other older value was false, then it will go here, it will come here. Okay, so let's say that our element is hidden. Okay, and click on these toggle columns. Okay, that then the binding dot value will be true. Okay, so this portion will be executed. Element is hidden, so that means we we'll start from here. The first stage, our class value will be collapse. So let's add that here. Collapse. There you go. The height will be null. We didn't define the height here, so height will be auto and null. Now, when it comes here, it will go to start the second stage. Okay, so this part is the second stage, and this part is the third stage. Okay, so in the second stage, because in the first stage we have the collapse, because in the first stage we have the class value collapse, so in the second stage we don't have the collapse class name here, so we need to remove that. So this is what I'm, what I'm doing here. I'm removing the collapse. Then I calculate the height of the element, and then I set the height to zero, so it will go to zero to compute the height. So I set it to zero first, okay? Then I add the collapsing class name, and then here I reset the height value, the computed height, okay? So this part, this portion is for second stage. Now you might have a question: Why put el dot offset height here? Okay, I'm not assigning any value, but I just put uh, el dot offset height here. So there's a reason for that, and the reason is it will force Vue.js to relay out the element. Okay, so because here, if you look at this, I am assigning zero to height style. Okay, and then I reassign the computed height to the height style. Okay, so that is why I need yield dot offset height in between. So it will help. It will it will force Vue.js to relay out the div element. Okay, so that is the end of second stage. In the third stage, third stage will begin when the transition ends. That means when it expands fully, okay, then this part, third stage, will be executed. So in the third stage, you can see that um, we need to add collapse and show, and the second stage, we had collapsing, so we need to remove that. So here, we put, this is what we're doing. So removing collapsing and then adding collapse and show, these two class names, and finally, we set the height to null, that means its height will be auto. So let's say that our element is shown here like this, and then you hit the toggle collapse, then this portion will be executed. Okay, so when the element is shown here, so we're already in third stage, okay, now this portion is for second stage, okay. In the second stage, you can see that we don't have collapse and show in the second stage, so we need to remove that collapse and show. Then finally, we set the height. Okay, so height of we height we set the height twice. The first time we the height would be the computed height. Okay, and then we put el dot offset height, and then add the class name collapsing, and finally. We set the height to zero. 
okay again the reason for adding a offset height is because it is going to force Vue.js to relay out this element when the transition ends this part will be executed that means it will go back the first stage so here we are removing collapsing because we added that in the second stage right so we, re we remove that and then add collapse and then finally set the height value to auto or now okay so this is what is happening so let's try it here now okay, click on it so let's try this one now we click on it it displays okay and if you click on it again it will be hidden here you go hope you enjoy it thank you for watching